Good morning, I'm Ken Say and welcome to Dragon Track. I'm leaving shelter a little before eight o'clock and I'm going to try to put a little pace on it so that I can get my body heat up and get to the next shelter, preferably in less than eight hours. I think this is the place that has given the most information that I've been at on the Appalachian Trail. And there seems to be a blue blaze down there for whatever the under mountain trail. Okay, that sounds like some, something dwarfs would do in a Tolkien novel, but okay. And this part of the trail is pretty wide, which is nice. Pretty rocky too, which is less than nice. Views. I'm getting towards the summit of Bear Mountain. Uh, I heard it was pretty steep, but that was from a sobo, so it might be going down on the other side that is steep. Uh, this side had been rock all the way basically, and there's still rock in that direction, but it hasn't felt steep. The summit of Bear Mountain keeps eluding me. I thought we've gotten there already. And the trees hide how tall the mountain truly is. When it's exposed rock like this, big rocks, it's usually pretty smooth. But when it's broken up like that, small rocks here and there, that's usually more uncomfortable. Oh, you're going the same way, okay. Come on, Nixie. Let's check, let's check this view out. Have a nice day. Yeah. Okay, so we uh, reach the top. Wow, okay. Quite the stack of rocks. And quite the view. See if I can make it up here without using my hands and while still holding camera woohoo okay whoa was a little windy up here whoa whoa no 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 oh it blew over there so it's fine it's fine I should have been prepared for that okay I I need to Step up. Whoa, that was wobbly. That was better. Okay. I'm at the very tippy top of Bear Mountain. I'm not gonna stay here long. Okay. Let's go downstairs. If you look at my hair too closely, you probably notice that I haven't showered in a while. Tomorrow will be my first day off trail since I started and it's going to be nice to get a shower. Uh, this tablet says this monument marks the highest ground in Connecticut. I've been on the highest ground in Connecticut. Woohoo! Uh, so this is what it's like right now. So far it doesn't feel steep. to the point that I've actually taken the steeper and shorter route when I've been going downstairs so far, or downhill rather. But I'm, I'm taking this, which may be a little less steep now because I have my camera out. It got steeper. At one point I had to sit down to actually reach the next point for my foot but uh, depending on the route you take some are steeper than others and I try to make the most prudent choice and I had two routes to choose between I'm not sure which one would have been the better one but I made a choice 
I have barely ended filming the last segment. Well, maybe I got a little bit further downhill. And then on a relatively flat area, I slipped on these leaves. Uh, maybe a little bit of a mark on my arm where I fell on one of the rocks. When I fell, I was thinking that uh, I don't know what it's like to summit Bear Mountain southbound, but traversing Bear Mountain northbound was much easier uh, than Albert Mountain. And then I fell. <laughs> well, take that as a lesson. Just let, let me make something clear about my mother if I haven't been clear before. She may prefer that I am at, would have stayed at home and she has said that a number of times. But she knows this is what I want to do and she supports me. She is my cheerleader, my lifeline. I am an introvert. I could have been out here for 10 months without any connection to the outside world. I love my family and, and uh, she makes sure that I keep in contact every time I get to town and she spreads the news to the rest of my family and whoever else is on, on her list and uh, she's like that with my siblings too and yet she is and my father ha has raised five adventures let me take a break there Connecticut, Massachusetts state line. I'm come another border crossing. Woohoo! I'm in Massachusetts now. This will be my fourth state on the Appalachian Trail: Georgia, North Carolina, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. Massachusetts and uh, North Carolina, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. This was the first time. I've been in any of those three states. Of course, I, I traveled from New York to Connecticut to get to the trail in Connecticut. So count that however you like. And this is my second border crossing as I skipped all the distance between North Carolina and Connecticut. I'm going back to do that later. Okay, now back to my family. So, my mother <laughs> prefers that we stay at home me and my four siblings. Yet she raised us to be adventurers. She and my dad raised us to be adventurers. And though my siblings usually go on more adventures than I do, mine are usually longer. I lived in the United Kingdom for two years. Now I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail and that'll take me 10 months. Uh, so, so uh, I, I think that is interesting. My, my uh, siblings go on more adventures than I do. I, I'm like the I'm the guy that sits at home and, and like to work at my computer. My interests are at my computer, sedentary in every way. Uh, my siblings have done things like being an au pair in Italy, an exchange student in the US. They've competed in various kind of running, bicycling and swimming competitions, even swimming in cold water outdoors. Things I would never dream of doing it and I appreciate them and look up to them a lot and then there's me and I have my crazy ideas that take me away from home for long stretches of time but not as frequently as my siblings 
go on their adventures. Of course, my sisters, now our parents, so uh, their adventures are different than they used to be. My brother, who is one of the smartest people I know, one of the bravest, bravest people I know, he continues on doing his adventures most often in pursuit of the next bird he hasn't seen traveling across Sweden just to be able to see whatever bird he hasn't seen yet photograph them but he is much fitter than I am has always been much fitter than I am. Uh, okay, so what is this? Says? Sager's Ravine. You are entering a very fragile environment. Help the this area recover from overuse and abuse. Stay on trails and camp at designated sites only. Paradise Line Trail and this direction. Paradise Lane Group Campsite 1.5 mile. Under Mountain Trail and Route 41 parking. Okay, I'm not going there. I'm going in this direction, down the Appalachian Trail. Woohoo! There is a, a term on the trail called PUDS, P-U-D-S, which stands for pointless ups and downs. One pod, several pods, and this feels like one of those. Whoa! That looks so cool! With water almost going through a cave system or something. The cliffs just hanging over the surface of the water. Oh. Whoa. That looks nice indeed. Dark and mysterious. Whoa, and it looks pretty deep too, right there. Because that, that big rock looks like from here, there's more of it beneath the surface than above. That's, whoa, whoa, let's try this. We're fastening the camera to my chest strap. Okay, I, I hope you can see something because I can't see what the camera is recording right now. Okay, let's tilt it down a little more. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Almost lost my balance there. Some would say that I did lose my balance and regained it without falling. Potato, potato. Ooh, right now I feel like I can leave it there for a while and you can see what's happening. Okay. Ah, uh, fun, fun, fun. Just strapping the camera to, uh, to my chest strap energized me. It's, it somehow made me more adventurous more willing to hike fast and do the crazy thing of getting forward in ways I might not have thought of doing not being on camera. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that don't feel I have to prove anything to anybody. Ooh. This is amazing. I just love this. 
Wow. I'm me and I do things because I want to do them, not because I feel like I have to prove something to someone else. And still, let's put in this camera. Is this actually the trail or is the trail going that way? Like up that way. I think it is this way. It looks a little bit more like a trail. Okay, so from what I can see from far out, the trail changed sides and is supposed to be on the other side of the river. But if I look at the other side of the river, there's no trail. So I'm going to assume the far out is a little bit off and that this is the trail. I hope this is the trail. This is so cool. I mean, so cool. And uh, more there. And this is the way I'm heading. I'm not seeing in white places. I don't even see a trail on that side. But is it supposed to be further up? I mean, from, from far out, it seems to be almost in the, in the water source, which is why I'm assuming that, that it, it is a little off and, and that the crossing is still ahead of me. <laughs> Assume that this is the trail, uh, just head forward. That reminded me of a song from back in, I don't know, 80s, 90s that I heard on MTV back in the day when MTV was actually music television. Whoa, whoa, okay. And it's, uh, I'm not going to sing for you, uh, but the lyrics was Star Trekking Across the Universe on the Starship Enterprise under Captain Kirk. Star Trekking across the universe. We're only going forward for we can't find reverse. Uh, okay, I haven't thought of that song in decades. Woohoo! There's a blaze, there's a blaze, there's a blaze. That is awesome. Thank God for that. Apparently we're going back and forth between Massachusetts and Connecticut. So I'm crossing from Connecticut back into uh, Massachusetts. And over there, that's where I need to cross the river. And apparently go up there. So uh, we have that to look forward to. Well, this is a mix of a trail and a dirt road. I mean, it's sort of wide enough to be a road, but it's only track as if there was a trail. The first two hours this morning, I hiked two miles, a mile per hour, like I normally do. And during that time, I crossed Bear Mountain, which has been the hardest part of the day. For the next two hours, I only hiked a mile total. So after four hours, I'm only three miles in. I don't know what happened. I don't usually hike that slow. So, so something is weird. Either I'm hiking extraordinarily slowly or the app hasn't properly updated my current location. You are traveling through the homelands of the Mohican people, the indigenous inhabitants of this land. Please, res please respect this land during your journey. Some views between the trees. Hope you can see them well enough. Looks beautiful.
I had pain on the upper side of both of my feet as if my shoelaces were tied too tight. So I tied them more loosely and the pain uh, disappeared in my right foot, but I still have pain in my left foot. Uh, it's not the kind of pain I've had in my feet that I've told you about earlier or before. That pain is in the bottom of my feet and I have that feeling because I've walked too far or too long. But this feels like it's something different and it's in, the, it's in a different place. I don't know what it is and I hope I will be able to find out soon. This seems to be pretty much the same views as from Bear Mountain. Ooh, I wonder what kind of bird that is. Anyone knows? Please let me know in the comments. I hope I'm catching it on the camera because I... The screen is too small on the camera to be sure of the... That some sort of eagle or hawk or some other raptor. I don't know. But the views are awesome. That's the white blaze. The Appalachian Trail goes up there. This is the edge, and that is the view. If you are afraid of heights, the Appalachian Trail might not be for you. You may see the tail of a snake that just slither across the trail. Still in there, moving away from me as I'm moving down the trail. Oh, today has not been a fun day on the trail. It's been difficult. Uh, my foot is still bothering me. A lot of uphill. Bad uphill, if you will. So, uh, I've been slower than normal. But now, at least we're getting a bit of downhill, so maybe I can... Uh, catch up and that it will average out a little bit but there's still like a 600 foot 700 foot I don't remember uphill that's like 200 meters uphill coming up I um, still have I still have to go a little bit more downhill before I get to that uphill and after that uphill it's downhill and then I'm at the shelter. White place, a single white place meaning straight ahead. So I move forward this way and then I suddenly start seeing blue blazes. No white places whatsoever. And when I check far out, I'm off trail. When I uh, head back and start looking around a little bit, I see that white blaze. Please get better at showing where we're supposed to go. Some blazes are too far apart. Some blazes are not clear enough to let us know in what direction we're supposed to go. Please get better. Summiting Mount Everett was not fun and I'm not done. <laughs> I'm going half the pace I normally am and at a normal pace of one mile per hour, I'm getting up here at half a mile per hour. It's insanely slow. It's insanely hard. I'm... Uh, I estimated that today would take approximately 8 hours. It's looking like it's going to take 12. Uh, yeah. Not my best day. I think I will have enough water to get me to shelter. 
this is not my finest hour. Well, depends, I guess. With, with all the effort I've put in, not giving up, not giving in. Maybe it is my finest hour. These trees are not very tall. And I'm tired, exhausted. More than 10 hours of hiking today. So if it doesn't bump into me, it bumps into my backpack. I have to bend and redirect and try to go beyond the reach of these little trees that try to stretch their arms out over the trail and it's getting narrower over there but it also seems like the vegetation changes so I hope that will work in my advantage I will soon have summited Mount Everett it has been brutal definitely my hardest day so far Mount Albert in North Carolina on the way up to the 100 mile marker was steeper and more brutal but this has been much much longer Mount Everett summit elevation 2,602 feet. Please stay on trail to protect fragile vegetation. Couple of cans. Wait, they eat this way and that. Way. Okay, they eat this way. Me, uh, yes. Okay. Those signs were a little out of sync. So, so not pointing in exactly the proper direction. But at least I'm finally here. The, oh, and as I said earlier, that wasn't the summit. This is the summit. And it should be about a mile down to camp. And I, there's been a lot of people that have passed me by and I hope there's still room in the shelter. I do not want to pitch my tent tonight. Let's hope this will be faster and smoother. It's been an 11 hour day. Not the first day that has been that long for me, but the first day when I expected an eight hour day that turned out to be this long and I'm not there yet. They have planks. That's nice after a day like today. And here they apparently call the shelters lean-tos and the hemlocks lean-to is 0.4 miles away and that's where I'm spending my night. In addition to, to the foot pain, I've had my left foot most of the day, I now have the standard bottom of my feet pain that I sometimes get when I've hiked too far. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking. <laughs>